Hey yo, what up guys, it's Darkwood Fire, and I'm here today to bring to you a brand new video. Alright, so I'm picking right back up from where I left off. Um, okay, let's see. We're climbing Mount Nibelheim. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is where we're supposed to go. I've had two drinks of alcohol. It's hitting me super hard. I don't really know why. I guess I'm just like a total lightweight. But, uh... Yeah, so, if I start sounding all slurish, if my words start slurring like crazy, then that's probably why. Uh, let's see. If I remember, it's this dude. No? Oh, an all material. That's pretty cool. Uh, I can climb that? Yeah, okay, but I don't need to, because I just need to... I don't think I need to fight that creature going to anyways let's go oh wait, I don't even have can I change my yes I can all right let's switch out Vincent because I don't actually want him I want Barrett my man all right now we're gonna fight this creature the materia keep Well, maybe that means I'll get a materia after killing him. Huh? Huh? No, probably not. Oh, it's probably more likely that he's just guarding a single piece of materia or some crap like that. Or maybe he comes from... I, I don't know. No clue. Mako created monster. Are they all Mako created monsters? They could be, right? Let's see. What's the lore here? Got to try and trying to remember the lore now. I know this is exciting stuff, guys. I'm really, I'm really upping the ante today, trying to figure out the lore of monsters in this world. Gym ring. Ah, he did drop a material right on, and it's counter. Sweet. Now I can go with Ultra Mega Ultimate Bodyguard counter combo. Yeah, that's a dumb name. <laughs> Alright, um, cover with counter. Uh, or, maybe not. Let's go this way. Did I get out? I did! I got out. Excellent. Okay, cool. Crazy. Awesome. Now, where am I going? I don't remember this part of the game very well. Hey, it's Rocket Town! Okay, we're at Rocket Town. And I got Yuffie, right? I do. That means I have all party members except for one. I am missing Sid. So, uh, I guess I'm going to the right place, huh? What's that? It looks to be a giant rocket. A rusty old rocket. Wonder why they made something so huge. Okay, so you know what it is. How? Like, you don't live in the most technologically advanced civilization. You see a gigantic rocket sitting in the middle of town, and you're just like, Meh, whatever. Let me handle all your weapon and accessory needs. Sure, got anything good? Gold arm. Uh, that's good. And, uh, I can't afford that. Alright. Materia? No, 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 not materia. Equipment. Yes, yes, gold amulets all around. Wahahaha. Alright. Should up the ante a bit. Make me a little bit stronger. I believe if I talk to this guy, he'll give me a. a on it at some point. Nah, it doesn't matter. Uh, I need to... I'm trying to remember what I need to do. I think I need to look at the tiny bronco. Yeah. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny bronco. This is cool. Shinra's always keeping the best thing for themselves. Let's take it. Instantly, just like, let's steal this thing. And someone comes out and is like, um, excuse me, that's mine. You can't take that. That's not okay. 
May I help you? No. We're just looking at it. Planning on stealing it. If you would like to... Uh, if you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shira. Shira? Shira? Is it Shira? Sh I'm gonna call her Shira. And what are your names? I'm Cloud. I'm Barrett of Avalanche. I'm Tifa. Nice to meet you. Mm. So, you're not with the Shinra? I thought you were bringing the approval for the space program. Huh? President Shinra Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's here so restless all morning. Rufus. Ooh, Cloud does not like that Rufus is coming by. Alright, so gotta go to the rocket. Oh, oh, the name of this song. I think I know what the name of the song is. I think it, this the name of the song is called Those Who Live Under the Steel Pizza or something like that. And if I'm right about that, yeah. If I'm wrong about that, oh no. Kool-Aid man. Uh, what are you guys doing here? We heard the we heard the captain was here. Captain? I'm the captain. Sid. I, I don't have a voice for Sid, so. The name's Sid. It won't cost me captain though. What do you want? Tell me about the rocket. Is Rufus coming? Can we borrow the tiny bronco? You out of your goddamn mind? That's my most cherished possession. I can't let you take it. Okay. Is Rufus coming? Yeah. Must be news about the start in the space program. A young president, that's what we needed. He still has dreams, too. Uh, okay. Tell me about this rocket. Wow, not bad for a kid. All right, then. I'll explain it to you. You know, Shimmer's developed a lot of technological gadgets during the meaningless war, right? Now, it's a makeup company. Mako? But in the old days, it was used, it was a weapons manufacturer. Well, they came up with a rocket engine. What? Whoa. Whoa. Why? If they were... Okay, they're an electric company now, but they, they used to build weapons, and while they were building weapons, they accidentally built an engine? Like, what? There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it, and made prototypes after prototype. Finally, they completed Shinra, number 26. They chose the best pilot in Shinra. No, in the world. Me. I mean, come on. Finally, we get the day of the launch. Everything was going well, but because of that dumbass Shira. The launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. And so Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plans. And after they told me how the future... Uh, after they told me that... Uh, after they told me how the future was space exploration got my damn dreams up. Damn them. Then it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, dinero. My dream was just a financial number for them. Look at this rusted bucket. I'm supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. Thing falling over or me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. Uh, yeah, okay, well thanks for the lore dump. Uh, I'm just gonna casually walk this way uh he told us we could take the rocket uh excuse me cloud did the captain say anything? Yeah, he said we can have the rock or the, the the tiny bronco. He said we can have the tiny bronco. So we're just gonna be on our way. Nope. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Shira. 
What are you, blind? We got guests. Get some tea. Fuck. Uh, I'm sorry. Really, don't mind us. Shut up! Sit down in those chairs and drink your goddamn tea. Uh, damn, I'm pissed. Shira, I'll be in the backyard tuning up Tiny Bronco. And make sure to serve them some tea, alright? Damn, man. What's up with that guy's attitude? Sorry, it's our fault. No, no. It's always, he's always like this. Is it always like this? Why is Sid so hard on you? No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Hey, get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. He was always a dick. Even the moon would get tired of waiting around for your ass. I'm sorry. Don't make so much time checking that ass for that, that fucking oxygen tank. Shira, being careful is good, but no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. That thing wouldn't break even if I, even if hell froze over. But, no buts. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is to lift off. Yeah, leave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. All right, Captain, fly our dreams in outer space. Thanks, guys. We're praying for your safety. Instrument panel, all clear. Shinra number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressuring rising. Shinra number 26. Three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Sid, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who, who is the little fuck? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Hey, god damn it. Who the fuck's still in there? It's Shira, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with the launch. Shira? What are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The result of the oxygen tank test wasn't satisfactory. You stupid little bitch. It's gonna get so hot in there that there ain't gonna be shit left when the blast off gonna be burnt to a crisp you're gonna die you know that don't you I don't mind if I can just fix this the launch will be a success I'm almost done way to be a martyr almost done you're gonna die we must start the countdown we won't make it if we don't starting engine <laughs> hey wait Sh Shira still in there down my volume a bit. Hold on. Okay. I'm a loud guy. I'm trying not to peak my audio. What are you gonna do, Sid? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. It'll be longer. God damn it, Shira! You wanna make me a murderer? Captain. Shira. Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shira. Hurry up, you're gonna die! 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Sid, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What? What am I... What am I supposed to do? Fifteen seconds until ignition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man! The moon! Out of space! My dreams! Ignition, uh, ignite engine. Shit!
That, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call failure to launch. That was an awful joke. I apologize. <laughs> that was a dumb joke. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was canceled. It's my fault his dream was destroyed. That's why. It's all right. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Shira, you still haven't served him tea? I'm sorry. Jesus. Hurry up and sit down. Or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? They're late. Where is Rufus? Hey! Long time no see! So, Sid, how you been? Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long will you figure on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program gonna start up again? Hey, hey! I don't know, the president's outside! So why don't you ask him? Fuck! Good for nothing, fat ass. Don't say fat! Hey, hey, tea! Can I have some tea? Tea, too. With lots of sugar and honey and, oh yeah, don't forget the lard. Lard, oh. Oh no. I don't like tea, but lard, ugh. Not in the tea. Drill arm. Nice. Let's see. Should I have headed out the front? Should I talk to Palmer? What's going on? What's going on? Huh? 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 Hey! Have we met before? Uh, hey! Is the tea ready yet? With plenty of sugar and honey. Oh yeah, and don't forget the lard too. I guess he really likes lard in his tea. And there is another car. Wow, okay. I've been thinking that there was only one car in this game. I, I know I've already talked about this like twice or three times now, but just cars pop up everywhere. This is, this is bad, man. Oh, okay. What the? You got me all excited for nothing? Then what do you come here for? Oh, I don't have Rufus written down because I want to know that uh, I want to borrow the tiny Bronco. We're going after Sephiroth, but seems like we've been going in the wrong direction. But now we think we know where he's headed, but. We have to cross the ocean. That's why we want your plane. All right, and that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, I'm going to pause it right here. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you did not like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace.